Yo, what up everybody? It's PSI. Welcome to another video. Today I've got a deck profile for you. I uh, went uh, undefeated 4-0 uh, four, four oh at uh, Tinley Grapple, or uh, game, Gaming Goat, I think it's called? Yes. Um, uh, 19 players, so not too big of an accomplishment, but I liked this deck and I want to get it out there before the new ban list. So it's... Uh, Technically pure orcist, but what really is pure orcist? You gotta run some type of engine. I wasn't running the Tenyi engine or the Danger engine, but I was running Trickstar Sky Striker engine, so I really like this list. So let's start off with the normal summons. Uh, one armor get a knight. Uh, this can dump a uh, harp. This is not ideal, but usually if you have an extender with it, it, it can do a lot more. It's just nice to have something that can dump. And I only thought one is fine. I'm not even running Rota because searching is not good. Um, but uh, Scrap Recycler essentially does the same thing, but at least with this, you can get... Um, uh, th there can be only one doesn't stop you as much. I don't know. Uh, then for another normal sum, we've got Trickstar Candina. This searches Light Stage, which can target your opponent's back row and stop it. And you can also get this thing off of that, which is full Orcus combo. Full Orcus combo! Woo! Um, but yeah, I was thinking of running a Trickstar Reincarnation, but I just couldn't find the space. I didn't want to run more than 45. And then finally for normal summons, uh, Triple Ibli. This card's insane. Do you know it has an effect on normal summon? Because of its effect, I was able to win a couple of games. You normal summon it, and then you target a Link monster in your graveyard, and special summon it to the field with its effects negated or something, I think, and its attack goes to zero. I don't know. But anyway, you summon it such that it points to Ibli, and then you can use it for Link Fodder. It's amazing. This makes Boral Sword so easy turn after turn two. So those are the normal summons. So just six. Uh, you don't really need more than that, honestly, in 45, because you do run a lot of extenders. So Double Nightmare, um, if you draw one, you don't want to not be able to summon the other one from deck. But even if you do draw two, you can always special summon this from your deck going into your Nightmare uh, Mermaid, but then you have to link it off into... It's complicated, but at least it's possible to, to get yourself out of it. I'm running three Harp now. Um, sometimes I'll side out the third one because you kind of only need two, just like... Well, I'll, I'll get to the extra deck later, but like three is okay because you can also normal summon it, um, and with one extender you can make your Galatea and go forward. Uh, and then these two, uh, I don't own a Gizmek. If I did, it would probably be in here. But um, this is super standard. So those are the Orcus monsters. Next for a couple of hand traps, double Phantasme. Uh, if I had a third, I'd probably play it. Um, it's just good this format because it digs into your deck and stuff and. It uh, can negate and ban, or it can negate targeting effects and stuff. And then finally for the monsters, hand trap. Uh, I'm maining three Nibiru. Um, if you run against combo, like I was saying in my other uh, video where I opened the packs for this, uh, combo like there's some decks that going second Orcus can't break their board, um, and this just gives you an opportunity if you do happen to go second to be able to break board in in game one. So, uh, quite a bit of monsters there. I think it's like 20-something, maybe 18-ish. I don't remember. Spells. We're going heavy on spells. Because there's an engine that I want to talk about at the end of the spells that's insane. Triple Call by the Grave. Um, I'm going first now, so this is really nice. Except when your mermaid gets impermanenced. Chain Link 3 after you try to give them your Ibli Chain Link 2. Uh, oh, that just feels rough. But Called by the Grave is, like, essential. It's nice even if you... If you don't get hand-trapped, you can set it and then stop a lot of people. Uh, Instant Fusion, this is uh, Winda Turbo, basically. The Winda board is so nice. I mean, like, I, if I can go make the Winda board, I'll do that 10 times out of 10 instead of the Top Logic Bomber Dragon board because what are you doing with one summon against a Crescendo? Like, you're not doing anything. Double Cosmic Cyclone in the main deck. Um, I feel like this is correct now. You've got the Nibirus for combo. Um, and if you see those, great. But you need something in the main deck. Um, I was thinking about playing three of this. I'm not playing Twin Twisters anymore because I think Gear Super Tech's against uh, Destruction. And then Banishing is a lot better anyway against like mm -hmm. True Draco. And everything recycles spells and traps. That's what makes them good. And <laughs> this prevents that. Because uh, good luck adding from Banished. Uh, not many cards do that. Uh, double Enemy Controller. Uh, this is uh, a tech that I was inspired by Jesse Cotton. 
Uh, he played this in his salad deck, and he said it performed very well um, because it's better than mind control in a sense that, sure, you do have to tribute a monster as cost, but you have the opportunity to set it if you draw it going first, and then it's also chainable. So, like, say I normal summon Armageddon Knight going into a full board, and they, like, hot red, then I can chain enemy controllers, tribute that as cost, target something else to grab. I mean, that's, like, one example that probably would never happen, but I was just trying to give you an example of anything targeting, like, even a Valor or an Ash, or no, no, Ash doesn't target, never mind. But you know what I'm talking about, like, Impermanence and stuff like that, uh, Silquitas, Widow Anchor, stuff like that. It, it dodges that, and then it takes a threat from your opponent, they really don't see this coming. And if you still link two, then you can really link easily into Boral Sword. Or take your opponent's ding. It's 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 phenomenal having this as a quick play. Uh, next, terraforming to search the broken field spells in this deck. Trickstar Light Stage. This is full combo right here, which is a great option. Of course, you've got your Babel. And finally, Mystic Mine. I won a game because of this card. My opponent had like a full board of Altergeist Monsters in the final round. And Link Karibo. And I had my Phantasme on field. And I was like, oh, God, how do I win this? Because he had 2,000 life points, and I didn't have a way to get another monster, so I terraformed for the Mystic Mind. I was like, Mystic Mind? <laughs> so I couldn't activate Link Karibo or Silquitas or anything like that. Um, and uh, I, I just attacked Link Karibo for a game. <laughs> this card's nice at one. I used to play three in the going second build that I got from Hani. Um... This card, this card's nice because Orcus can use it and play with it and around it, and I, I really like Mystic Mine. It's a nice floodgate to have, but I honestly it should be banned. Like I am a Yu-Gi-Oh player, I understand that this card is Cancer and it forces people to main deck spell and trap removal, which kind of like doesn't go with the Sekka's Light strategy and stuff, which I don't like. Like they should be able to play that deck. Like we have Nibiru. Like this doesn't need to be a card. Hopefully they hit this further. But, I mean, I only need one, as long as we got that terraforming. I've got two copies in my deck, whatever. You don't need Metaverse either. Like, you want to, like, you want to activate it and just, like, bam, right on your opponent. Next, uh, another Orcus spell. I play, uh, I play the Return. Um, I've seen people play this, and it just, it, it draws you deeper into your deck. And, like, it's a searchable draw two, which is insane. Because, like, you don't always need to set Crescendo and Babel. You can set this, and you can draw into your side deck cards... Or when um, it's game one, you can just draw into your main deck hand traps like Phantasme and Nibiru or, or just a back row. Like, this is just phenomenal. And you need a lot of spells in this deck, and I'll show you why in one second. We are running an extremely heavy Sky Striker engine. Triple Sky Striker, Mobilize, Engage, Hornet Drones, Eagle Booster, Widow Anchor, and Afterburners. This deck, or no, this engine made me want to play pure because <laughs> this is so good. Like, mid-game, this is Pot of Greed. So you search something broken that can out an entire field. Because I, I run a heavy spell count, as you saw. It was like over 20. Um, so, which is like half the deck. You, you can pop things and pop back row, non-targeting. Um, you can protect your, your things. I protected my Boral Sword from a Nibiru with this. So, I, and I actually got to kill them. It's, or, uh, maybe they lasted that one, one more turn. But, like, not having to tribute my Boral Sword was phenomenal. Um, the, uh, this just summons the monster and gets you back your engage so you can search something else. Because engage with a normal summon is so good. And then this can steal stuff, which is really nice as well. So, like, I love this engine. And you always have a target for your engage. Like, people that play this are, like, silly. And then people that play this are like, okay, that's cool, but, like, you still have a dead engage. People play this are like, okay, that's nice. There's one engage for each one. But guess what? If you activate Hornet Drones and you activate um, to add engage back, you're going to be down one card and you'll have one dead engage in deck. Boom. Problem solved. <laughs> Broken. <laughs> Finally, traps. I got three Imperm. Um, this conflicts with Phantasme and stuff, but, I mean... Having the ability to do something that's not called by the graveable, like say they've got their their stupid um, their pendulum monster, that Cerberus guy that can negate monster effects. You activate Nibiru to eat their freaking board, and then they chain the the thing to negate, and you're like, okay, impermanence, and then they lose. I don't know. It hasn't come up yet because drawing that and and uh, Nibiru is tough. 
Um, spicy tech, fateful hour. This uh, says target a monster that can't be normal summoned or set in either graveyard. Special summon it. So it is a quick play monster reborn for monsters that can't be normal summoned or set. So that's any extra deck monster that's properly summoned or any main deck monster that has a crazy summoning condition like Conductor or whatever. The idea was to summon back like Boral Swords or um, Dingirsus and stuff. When you're playing a one of, you don't see it a lot, but something in my side deck can search it, so I will uh, get into that when I get to the side deck. And then finally, one crescendo. I wish there was room for more than one, but I mean, like, it is correct to run more than one for the grind game aspect, but I needed to minimize my bricking a little bit less, and I'd rather have return over a, another crescendo because, like, usually this deck can eat a board and then set the crescendo, and then your opponent's not coming back from that. Um, so two is kind of overkill. Uh, using its effect to banish to add one from uh, banished or deck is really nice, and I would like to play two because of that, but I really didn't want to go higher than 45, which is why I'm not playing Trickstar Reincarnation as well. All right, so that's main decks. Uh, extra deck, we got the token for the Sky Striker engine, and then two tokens for, um, like, Nibiru and other stuff, I guess. Not playing Yazi or anything like that anymore, because this is a going first build. You didn't see Destrudo. Uh, but Boral Sword comes in clutch, phenomenal. Top Logic Bomber Dragon, uh, that, that this can stop people as well. Trisbana came up only once against Salad, and I had to banish my own Babel, which kind of sucked. But I mean, I got to burn him for a thousand and stuff. I mean, I don't know how I feel about this card. I might change this out for a Unicorn, but like this with Red Reboot is insane. So if I increase Red Reboot to three in my side, which I might, I'll probably keep this and not change it. To uh, to a unicorn. I do miss unicorn though. Uh, the one long gear suit, you gotta play it. Double Galatea. This was something I was dancing with. Um, I've always said to play two, but I've uh, I tried three earlier today, and the, uh, I was um, I only have two ultis, so the other one was a super rare, and I made sure to always use my two supers, so I knew how many times I was gonna use my uh, er, my two ultis, so I knew how many times I was gonna use my super rare during the day. Um, in six rounds, I did not use the third Galatea once, so I took it out uh, for the Trisbana. Uh, then the Nightmare Package that goes into the Orcus Monsters. We got the Phoenix, the Cerberus, no Unicorn, and the Mermaid. And what really tilts people is the second Mermaid. Um, I was copying this one guy's list, and he was like, Oh yeah, if you're playing Ibli, you must play two Mermaid. And he was absolutely flipping right. Oh my god, two Mermaid is so amazing. Because they, my opponent sees me going into another um, uh, Nightmare Monster mid-game, and they're like, <laughs> You already used Mermaid. And it's like, yeah, I know. And then I get to drop the other one on them, so broken. Finally, for the Link Monsters, uh, Kagari, so broken. So flipping broken. Add back Engage. Draw free cards. Pot of freaking greed. Oh my god, it's so insane. Um, so yeah, no Tenyi. Sorry Tenyi, I just, uh, I just, I don't need you anymore. Um, that two Dingirsu, like, this is absolutely mandatory. Not more than two, you don't need it. Uh, but this is, like, really good for getting, like, your Eradicator off and stuff like that. Uh, Winda, this stops people so good. And then, oh my god, I have to show you guys this. So, um... If you draw Instant Fusion and Ibli, uh, you can normal summon, do your shenanigans, give this to your opponent, and then uh, when you're ending on your board, you've got your Galatea, your Long Gear Sue, and then you special summon Thousand Eyes. Then you overlay for Ding. This is only for, against Sky Striker, and you have your set Crescendo. Um, they. Unless they have the field spell to remove the Ibli or the um, or the multi roll, so basically terraforming the uh, the field spell itself and multi roll. So that's like five cards in their deck. If they didn't draw one of those five cards, they're not playing the game. Because guess what? You protected this uh, during end phase with Ding, and this says that only it can attack while it's on the field. So even if they switch this to attack mode, Sky Striker is not outing this. Everything else, you summon Winda instead. And they're locked into just one summon, and they has, still have to play through a Crescendo. So this is amazing. Instant Fusion is so versatile, so I, I really like that. And I actually got to use that today, which is nice. Uh, so that's that. Finally, side deck. 
uh, Dukas, uh, represent um, Team Bad Cards. We got everybody on here. Really love this. Uh, team is good. Team is good. Um, all right, so for the Mirror and for Thunder, double Lancia. I couldn't find room for three. I was just thinking about playing the Artifact Engine with the Scythe and the the Sanctums and stuff, but I felt like that would brick. I mean, Floodgates are good and stuff, but like I don't want to be like that, except unless it's Mystic Mind, because that's just too OP. Like, Scythe can get like anchored or negated with Impermanence and stuff. Like I play with against too many competitive people. Um, but I did want to have something for Sky, and for Salad, and for Thunder. Like, so many decks are adding. From Grave, from Deck, like, anything that happens, if you're going first, throw this in there. You can chain it to, like, even Titan. Say someone, like, activates their whatever card, uh, to search a Thunder Dragon, and you're like, chain Shared Ride. So not only can I not chain their Titan to it, but... You also get to draw a card off of this. So it actually turns into a plus one, kind of, because they're not gaining the effect to pop some, I don't know. But whatever. This is nice against most things. Uh, I don't main it because not every deck adds, number one. And number two, I'm not always going first. And going second, if it's not going to end up being a grind, I want to have the best chance to grind against my opponent as possible. So I'm not maining it. But I, I might. I mean, like, it's that good. Uh, next two trap tricks. So all of my normal traps are searchable. Uh, including Eradicator Epidemic Virus. So I've got four Eradicator Epidemic Virus, which is nice. Um, uh, triple Evenly. So, like, this is just for going second to eat boards and stuff. I got the other Fateful Hour. It didn't come up too much. But I figure, like, I don't want two going uh, second because Trap Cards can't really do anything going second. So I just played one on the side and then the two Eradicator. It didn't come in too often. But I usually kept the one Fateful Hour in the main deck in there. It's just a cute tech of mine. Because, like, you won't need to draw a Babel all the time. And then if your opponent th thinks that you don't have um, the uh, Babel or a way to get the Ding back on the field, they'll play a certain way because they most likely think it's an Impermanence or a Call by the Grave. But having that quick effect to send something um, from field to grave or even attach something to protect your board is really uh, powerful. Uh, I'm afraid of Sky Strikers, so Imperial Order is necessary. And I really wish I found more room for more reboots because there's a lot of flipping trap decks running around this format. Jesus Christ, play three of this card, please. Especially if you're playing Trisbana, because what what else are you going to do like with it? I mean, this plus full Orcus combo, instead of going into Long Gearsu, you go into Trisbana, and then you just summon something that you don't care about, and it gets banished, and you banish all of their spells and traps, you burn them for... However, dam how much damage it is times 500 for each spell and trap banished, and then like it's insane. So you clear their complete. Like it's having heavy storm in your extra deck. Uh, in combination with this card, it's absolutely OP. So I'm definitely gonna bump this up more. I just don't know what to take out um, for it. But yeah, that was the deck. Um, I'm not gonna go through my matches. Like I played Alter Guys, True Draco, stuff like that. Um, I beat them. I mean, whatever. But, yeah, this format uh, sucks, so uh, thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and content like this. See ya.